SAP 1 to be discussed by Zaldi Cabrera. Introduction The simple as possible SAP-1 computer is a very basic model of a microprocessor explained by Albert Paul Malvino. The SAP-1 design contains the basic necessities for a functional microprocessor. Its primary purpose is to develop a basic understanding of how a microprocessor works, interacts with memory and other parts of the system like input and output. The instruction set is very limited and is simple. The features in SAP-1 computer are WBUS a single 8-bit bus for address and data transfer 16 bytes memory RAM Registers are accumulator and B register each of 8 bits Program counter Initializes from H0D to FFH15D during program execution Memory address register march to store memory addresses Adder subtractor for addition and subtraction instructions a control unit A simple output. 6 machine reserved for each instruction. SAT1 instruction set consists of following instructions. Mnemonic operation OPC ODE. LDA load addressed memory contents into accumulator 0000. Add add addressed memory contents to accumulator 0001. Sub subtract addressed memory contents from accumulator 0010. Outload accumulator data into output register 1110. HLT stop processing 1111. Example, if 0000, 1000 is stored at memory location 0000 of RAM, then SAP 1 computer interprets it as follows Machine cycle and instruction cycle. SAT1 has 6 T states 3 fetch and 3 execute cycles reserved for each instruction. Not all instructions require all the 6 T states for execution. The unused T state is marked as no operation in OP cycle. Each T state is called a machine cycle for SAP1. A ring counter is used to generate a T state at every falling edge of clock pulse. The ring counter output is reset after the 6th T state. Fetch cycle T1, T2, T3 machine cycle execute cycle T4, T5, T6 machine cycle. Architecture to be discussed by Matthew Randall Santiago. 1. Program counter PC. Implemented in PCV file. It counts from 0000 to 1111, and it signals the memory address of next instruction to be fetched and executed. 2. Input and MAR. Implemented in input MRV file. During a computer run, the address in PC is latched into memory address register. 3. RAM. Implemented in MEM16KV file. The program code to be executed and data for SAP1 computer is stored here. During a computer run, the RAM receives 4-bit addresses from MAR and a read. Operation is performed. Hence, the instruction or data word stored in RAM is placed on WBUS for use by some other part of the computer. It is asynchronous RAM, which means that the output data is available as soon as valid. Address and control signal are applied. 4. Instruction register, IR. Implemented in IRV file. IR contains the instruction, composed of OPC ODE, plus address, to be executed by SAP 1 computer. 5. Controller, sequencer. Implemented in CUV file. It generates the control signals for each block so that actions occur in desired sequence. CLK signal is used to synchronize the overall operation of the SAP1 computer. A 12-bit word comes out of the controller sequencer block. This control word determines how the registers will react to the next positive CLK edge. 6. Accumulator. Implemented in accumulator v file. It is a 8-bit buffer register that stores intermediate results during a computer run. It is always one of the operands of add, sub, and out instructions. 
7. Adder Subtractor. Implement it in Adder Subtractor V file. It is a two's complement adder subtractor. This module is asynchronous, unclocked, which means that its contents can change as soon as the input words change. 8. B register. Implemented in register V file. It is 8-bit buffer register which is primarily used to hold the other opera and one operand is always accumulator of mathematical operations. 9. Output register. This registers hold the output of out instruction. 10. Binary display. It is a row of 8 LEDs to show the contents of output register. A sample picture of SAP1 architecture. The main purpose of SAP is to introduce all the crucial ideas behind computer operation without burying you in unnecessary detail. SAP1 is the first stage in the evolution toward modern computers. SAP1 is a big step for beginners. That's all. Thank you for watching.